एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन दिस क्वेश्चन ए थर्मोडाइनमिक सिस्टम इज गिवन एच शोन इन फिगर इन दिस सिस्टम ए बी प्रोसेस इज ए आइसोकोरिक हीटिंग प्रोसेस बी सी इज आर्डेबेटिक एक्सपांसन प्रोसेस एंड सी ए इज आइसोथर्मल कंप्रेशन प्रोसेस इन दिस क्वेश्चन वन मोल ऑफ एन आइडियल गैस इज गिवन एंड द प्रोसेस इज साइक्लिक एज ए बी सी ए so in this question we have to find out the efficiency of a heating engine operating in the given cyclic process so to evaluate the efficiency of the heat engine we have to calculate the work output and heat input in the system so process ca is the isothermal compression process in the isothermal process we know that the total temperature in the process is constant so change in temperature is equals to zero that's imply change in internal energy will be zero so according to first law of thermodynamics delta of q is equals to delta of w and in the isothermal process work done can be evaluated by 2.303 rt ln of v2 upon v1 then q1 equals to rta log of va upon vc or rta log of vb upon vc since va equals to vb now further the heat absorbed in the isochoric heating process ab is q is equals to n cv delta t that implies q2 equals to cv ta minus tb where cv is the specific heat at constant volume so q2 equals to r upon gamma minus 1 ta minus tb where r upon gamma minus 1 equals to cv for the adiabatic process tb vb gamma minus 1 equals to ta vc gamma minus 1 because in the adiabatic process the equation of adiabatic process is tv gamma minus 1 equals to constant that's implies ta upon tb equals to vb upon vc raised to power gamma minus 1 that implies log of ta upon tb equals to gamma minus 1 log of vb upon vc that implies log of vb upon vc equals to 1 upon gamma minus 1 log of ta upon tb so q1 equals to rta upon gamma minus 1 log ta upon tb now the efficiency of the engine is equals to 1 minus q1 upon q2 where q1 is the heat released by the system and q2 is the heat absorbed by the system that implies nita equals to 1 minus rta log of ta upon tb upon gamma minus 1 r ta minus tb upon gamma minus 1 so nita equals to 1 minus ta log of ta upon tb upon ta minus tb mcq question number 2 in this question we are having with a shortest wavelength in lyman series of hydrogen spectra is 91.2 nanometer and we have to find out the longest wavelength wavelength in this series so in the modern physics when electron moving in nth initial orbit to n final orbit then the frequency of radiation or the wavelength is given by 1 over lambda equals to redwork constant r into 1 over n final square minus 1 over n initial square so for the lyman series n final equals to 1 and n initial equals to 2 3 4 as shown that implies 1 upon lambda equals to r 1 upon 1 square minus 1 upon n initial square so for lambda maximum 1 upon lambda maximum equals to r upon 1 square because n final equals to 1 and n initial equals to infinite so lambda maximum equals to 1 upon r similarly 1 upon lambda minimum equals to r into 1 upon 1 square minus 1 upon 2 square because for minimum wavelength n final equals to 1 or n initial equals to 2 that's implies 1 upon lambda minimum equals to r 1 minus 1 by 
दैट से एम्प्लाइज लेमडा मिनिमम इक्व टू फोर अपॉन थ्री आर सो लेमडा मैक्मम अपॉन लेमडा मिनिमम इक्व टू फोर बाई थ्री दैट से एम्प्लाइज लेमडा मैक्मम इक्व टू फोर बाई थ्री इन टू लेमडा मिनिमम अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन लेमडा मिनिमम इक्व टू नाइन्टी वन पॉइंट टू नैनोमीटर सो लेमडा मैक्मम इक्व टू फोर बाई थ्री इन टू नाइन्टी वन पॉइंट टू नैनोमीटर दैट इज इक्व टू वन ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट सिक्स नैनोमीटर फिजिक्स एम टी पी थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड एम सी क्यू इन दिस क्वेश्चन द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द एंगल ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी ओमेगा एंड द वेव नंबर के ऑफ अ पार्टिकल एसोशिएटेड विद इट is given to us as k equals to under root of omega by c where c is a constant the group velocity of the particle wave is what we have been asked to calculate now as we know that the wave equation can be defined as y equals to a sin omega t minus kx and in this equation we define phase velocity as omega by k and group velocity as d omega by dk we have the relation k equals to under root of omega by c which can further be simplified to omega equals to ck square d omega by dk equals to 2 ck so we can define group velocity as vg equals to 2 ck so the correct answer here will be option c mcq question number 4 in this question it is given that epsilon not is the zero point energy of the harmonic oscillator of frequency nu and h is the planck constant in this question we have to find out the energy eigen value corresponding to the harmonic oscillator with n equals to 5 state so for the harmonic oscillator energy eigen value in the nth state is given by en equals to n plus half into h cut omega so for the ground state n equals to 0 and corresponding to it energy is a zero point energy that is equals to epsilon not equals to half h cut omega so for the n equals to 5 e5 equals to 5 plus half h cut omega or 5 plus half into h nu that implies 5h nu plus half h nu so 5h nu plus epsilon not because zero point energy is defined as half h nu that is equals to epsilon not so e5 equals to epsilon not plus 5h nu is the correct answer option c is correct.